What's up, footy fam? How you guys doing? Welcome back. Another local love vid. We out here, City Cranstons. We are at Poco Loco. We'll take out. I'm a big, I'm going to be honest with you. I am a complete sucker. Complete sucker when it comes to specials. I really am. I really am. You can get me. You could say, we can go to a place and they could be known for something, but they come back with like a special and I'm like, damn it. I'm going to order the special. I'm going to order the damn special. What the heck did they do here? So, Poco Loco, I was going to go in. I was going to get, um, I usually get their barbecue burrito. I was going to, but I did go in. What the heck? Did they learn this from the Chinese takeout restaurants? Good, good, good for the team. Oh, he did get me salsa. I love that man. Whoever that man was, I love you. I love you. Oh, he gave me napkins too. Shh. See, you ain't gonna get this kind of love, fast food joints. So this is their grande tacos. And in retrospect, I probably should only got one. But in my mind, I said, oh, they're tacos. Look, let me get two. Damn it. That's my it's been a crazy day. I'm on like I'm on like my fourth meeting. My brain is on creative overdrive, and I'm just like, oh, it's like a pita bread. Oof! Look at this. It's she's saucy too. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on. Look at this thing. See, I asked the gentleman, I said, it's a grande max. I was like, is that basically like a burrito, like a regular burrito with like mac and cheese in it? What they did was they used ground beef and then they put everything that you would see in a Big Mac in it. Mm. Lettuce, pickles, onions, mac sauce. That's all you need. They call it the Grande Mac. Now, from my recollection with this place, I think that they started off, I don't know how hot this is, but from back in the day, they started off as a food truck. And now I think they have multiple food trucks and they also own a brick and mortar. Mm. Wow. Tell you right now, one of the businesses that I would open up is a taqueria, man. Mm. And my taqueria, we would treat it just like in and out We wouldn't have a gazillion options. It would just be <clears throat> maybe three options, maybe. Mm. Beef pork chicken. Wow. I wasn't expecting this to be that good. I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> now I was going to, I knew it was going to taste good. But I didn't know I was going to be slopping it up like a little piggy. Thank you, baby Jesus. Hmm. 
Now, we have a food event coming up. So you guys are probably gonna see a lot of more YouTube shorts coming up. I did make one for the, the coffee milk one. You know, when you eat something and it just, you're satisfied. You guys ever have a meal where you ate something, you got full, but you weren't satisfied? Let me know if anybody's ever had that. Mmm. I would almost like them to, to try this in a burrito. I mean, it's basically a damn burrito. Excuse me. Mm. I used to have a friend She was a chef. And she'd like to try new places. But what happened, what had happened was, if it was a meal that wasn't good and she spent good money on it, she would legit cry. You know, some of us say that we would like, you know, we would cry or metaphorically cry. She would literally cry. Mm. Which I always thought was a bizarre thing. But nowadays, you spend money on a meal and it's not hitting. I think that's grounds for crying. Mm. They did really good. I don't know what. I don't know what beef seasoning that is. That's the one that's bringing it all home. I kind of want to make this at home. I'll get into updates in a second, fam. I was just so freaking hungry. Ravaged. Oh, thank you. Thank you to the food gods. What do they call this at, um... Taco Bell, Chalupa. Which is so weird because the Chalupas I've had don't look anything like the Chalupas that they they serve at Taco Bell. Mm. Last bite. I know that was more like an ASMR video. What's this? A piece of, a piece of taco. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring home this other bad boy.
updates. What do we got? We're just, I mean, anybody who works in the event world, I mean, it's nonstop. Not only are we curating for shows that are now and coming up, but also putting them together for like six, nine months, a year down the road. It's just a nonstop cycle. Ooh. I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard for, let me get the glare out for you guys. I'm trying really hard to go on a camping trip with Brisky next weekend before it gets too chilly out here in Rhode Island. I want to go out for like a day or two and go camping with him. Like real camping, not camping in the car, but like bust out. Because Brisket and I haven't camped together yet. And I'd like to try to get to um, a camping experience underneath our belt. Do I have a, do I have a chair? I do have a chair. I'm trying to think of what I need. Like some camp meals, some firewood. Maybe we'll maybe we'll stay in Rhode Island. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna if you guys want to do some research for me too, look at some campgrounds where you can do tent camping um, in Rhode Island. That'd be great. That'd be fun to go live on too. But it's basically just work mode, guys. I I think like the rest of the world, we're all just hoping to win the lottery. We're hoping to win the lottery and just take a breather. Does anybody else out there feel like we've uh, you've just been working for so long? You've just been grinding, grinding it out. You know what this world needs? I think this is what the world needs. This world needs a one year vacay. Just one year. Loop, how do you pay for it? I know, this is just a dream, guys. Don't talk to me about logistics. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I am exhausted, but I love you guys. I do want to just continuously tell you thank you for sticking around through our little absence and as I'm trying to get back into the motion of things. Um, you know, it's tough because a lot of my meetings are revolved around grabbing coffee with someone or grabbing lunch with someone or grabbing dinner or doing that. So those used to be the times, those used to be my meals that I would eat and, you know, camera with you guys. And, um, you know, it's just tough that I can't do, I can't eat six meals a day, unfortunately. Uh, maybe I could if we were making a gazillion dollars online and we spent the other half of the day at the gym maybe but i just can't uh what the heck is that noise oh it's a sign so just wanted to check in i want to do a quick video i'm here i'm breathing I'm just, I'm just trucking along like the rest of the universe, trying to make ends meet and uh, trying to help out restaurants, do more events for them, trying to help uh, restaurants uh, get traction online. And I just give, give, give. And I know it's all gonna come back tenfold, um, but that's not why you do it. You do things because you want to and because you, you like to help people. And there's just some of us out there that are just more givers than takers, right? We're not, we're not the type of folks that uh, see what we can get out of someone or, or you know, keep score of things or anything like that. So, um, with all that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you real soon. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying with the content. I want to still show you guys all the great food that we have here in our great little, uh, great little state. Uh, at least on this channel, the national stuff on the Lupe LTD channel. And um, I'm hoping to finalize that camping trip 
uh, the next couple of days and I'll kind of I'll make a community post and we'll see I don't know if there's gonna be see I always get really excited I'm like we can do live by the campfire but can we is there a reception where we're going nobody knows but that's also the excitement about it all too all right guys I'll let you go I know you got things to do everyone's back to school everyone's real busy a lot of things happening be well eat well and make sure you guys take care of each other okay